You'll untrue and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and welcome to another shipskin video because it's time for another shipskin and for a nice one that you always have the chance to get so to speak. But before I talk about the original series D7 refit for the D4, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet but do like my videos then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do, also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. And another little information, there's always a pinned comment under the videos as soon as it can after publishing. And there you find information about how to access the Discord I set up for this, uh, the Discord server I set up for this uh, channel. Um, there are several ones because uh, two for um, outside views STFC because there's one English, one German. And uh, so, but to the English one, the access you can find under the videos and uh, it tells you how to do that. But let's talk about the original series D7 skin for the D4. I really like it because it's, um, I'm not the youngest guy. So I have seen a long time ago the original series and uh, also in, in the first uh, movie, the D7 appeared and they were always quite quite a nice sight. It's not my favorite, you know that I, uh, my, my absolute favorite is the um, Romulan Bird of Prey skin, but I do like this one and in time I will get it. And it's, an, it's a rare skin and as usual with all the skins it only works for one ship class and in this case the D4 class. And you can only apply it when the D4 is in the dock. And it's a permanent buff like all the others I've shown you. Once unlocked, you will have the bonus from this uh, refit. No matter if you put it on the ship or not, if you decide for another look, it still will give you the bonus once you have unlocked it. And that's so nice about those ship skins. Only for one ship. The projectiles are better in this case, but still a permanent buff. And for some ships there are different skins and with the permanent buff situation you have all the bonuses at once for that ship. And in this case the um, D7 skin gives you a 70% weapon damage plus of the D4 against hostiles. So when I'm hunting or was hunting um, hostiles for reputation with the D4, I could hunt more hostiles in Romulus or in Seoul because um, my ship did more damage. When I do more damage, I need less rounds to defeat a target and so my ship lives longer. So it was, was a very nice thing. Uh, would be a very nice thing to have it. I didn't have it at the time because I decided to get a different skin first. But um, if you are at the at the point where you have the D4 as your best ship and are hunting um, those normal um, traders or the heavy traders in, in Seoul or Romulus, then for your D4 this might be a very big help. And it's kind of always available. A lot of those skins um, I still have to go back for a second because you can get the same one later before I forget this also for the Hechta. Um, it's the D7 skin for the Hechta. So not only because you got stronger ships doesn't mean it's uh, completely gone and you will never seen it again, see it again. But with a lot of um, skins you can only get them by buying them or you can only get them very rarely via events. In this case, it's much easier to get the skin because when we go to the amalgam refinery, there is the D4 refit and this is the original series D7 refit for the D4. And one shard, and you will need 80 of those, um, costs 90 of those uh, shard, uh, shipskin shard trackers. Uh, th those you get via the... Um, Amalgam recruit section. I made a video on that if you haven't seen that yet. And um, you, you need 90 for one and you can exchange up to 20 at once and then it costs 1800 chart trackers. But so it's always available for you. And you see it costs 80 shards. So you have to exchange the 20 chests four times and then you got it. Uh, I could only exchange it twice now, but I'm getting another one first, I guess, before I get this one. 
I will have them in the end because I'm, I'm a shipskin collector as well if the game gives me the opportunity so I will definitely get them but I did the um, projectiles first because um, they give bonuses to all my ships and that's why I first did the projectiles and then started with the ship skins. That's a matter of the priorities again. As I always say, you, you have to set priorities on everything in this game and because there's so much to do, so much to achieve. And uh, I set my priorities first the projectiles, then the ship skins. But now I'm working on the ship skins. But the next one will probably not be the D7, but I'm collecting the shards, the shard trackers first before I finally decide which one I will get. But it might be the one for the ISS uh, jellyfish. But in the end, I will have this one. And I do like it. Uh, I do like the look. And sometimes it's good to, or it's just fun to send out a kind of. Um, a reminiscent fleet so in the end when I have all the original series uh, refits I for some defense when I know that it won't be that that terrible then I might send out my whole um, antique fleet or something <laughs> it's just a nice look and I know that some other members of my um, alliance already have some of the old uh, skins and uh, it will look fun of course I would also like to know what do you think about the ship skin? Do you have it? Did you get it? Is that your favorite? You know which one is my favorite? Or um, do you prefer another? So I'm always happy to know what you have to th uh, say about the, the topic of the video. But of course, as usual, if you have questions in general or video requests, please write a comment as well. You know that I regularly read them. And if you just want to say hi and where you're from, for example, from what city, then I'm also happy always to know where my active viewers are coming from because I know they are already coming from all over the globe and so that's an interesting thing as well. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.